tank. Ryan Garcia. It's a good fight. I want to see that fight. I think Ryan Garcia a real fucking champ. I think Javante Davis a real champ. A good fight. Really good fight, honestly. And Ryan Garcia catch him, he takes him out. Tank catches him, he takes Ryan out. A good fight. I see Tank um, winning probably by knockout um, in the later rounds. Okay, so pretty pretty straightforward there. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, Ryan. Don't don't get me wrong. Ryan is a, a solid fighter. Um, I don't think he's been in no big fight like this before, and um, I don't think he's been in front of a fighter like Tank before. So that's just my opinion on it. Okay, but you think it, you think Ryan will be competitive? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Ryan is um tall, he got power, and he been boxing his whole life. So, um, I don't see Ryan at a lot of national tournaments coming up, and I fought Ryan back in the day, so I know like he's a uh he's been around. He's not just no Instagram boxer. How everybody trying to make him see or a YouTube boxer. He's not that. Um, he's gonna come in there to fight. Your take. Your take. On Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. Yeah, that's a great fight. Um, you know, I think Ryan's uh, he's a big lightweight, so I think uh, Tank's gonna he's gonna have trouble with the reach, the distance, the speed. But again, we know Javon has got, got that power, that one punch power. But he's got to be busy. He's got to be from round one. He can't just sit there and wait like he has in, in the past with these other guys. So uh, it's a great fight. Who knows? I'll try to get there and uh, see ringside and watch that fight as well. If Fox, I don't have my, my big fights lined up already. So um, I'm excited. As a fight fan, not only as a, as a former world champion and uh, still a massive name in the division, you know, as a fight fan, you know, this is great. I'm, I'm proud to see these two you know, make it happen. And uh, you know, we'll see what happens in that fight. If I'm not mistaken, you haven't got a fight prediction wrong. So I kind of want to ask you about, um, you know, Ryan Garcia is supposed to be fighting Javante in April. Supposedly, if both guys win their fight, um, how would you see that fight playing out, man? Again, you guys got to do your research. After this fight against Hector Luis Garcia, that Tank has to face, he has to go and face the court. And it's probably before Garcia. So you guys got to use it, man. They're manipulating you guys to bamp up the fight. I'm starting to see the ones and twos. I'm calling it out. I ain't no snitch now. Hold up. Chill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm just, I just speak it to what I see. You know, that doesn't make me a snitch. It don't make me a rat, you know, because I know these rats need cheese anyways, right? So um, I just speak it out, man. Just, just understand the business and concept. It could be a great fit. I look forward to seeing them fight. Really do. I think that would be a, the, one of the best fights that we see getting made outside of me and Taylor next year. I do. You know, and this is something that we all need to see. Whether those guys win, lose, or draw, those guys are going to come home with a, a nice check. And the sport's going to be happy seeing two best fighters face each other. However, do your, do your research. He has to go to court because of uh, his incident that he had. Maybe they clean his case. Maybe they put him in probation. Who knows? All right, let's, let's live in a perfect world, man. Javante beats the case. But that's the thing. This world ain't perfect. I said before, uh, I think Davis will win. I think because uh, he he's more more aggressive and uh, he always fight fighting with the uh, biggest guy and highest guy. So I hope he will be ready for Ryan Garcia. What but, are you know, everybody knows Ryan Garcia can be uh, can can make only one shot. It's right. Left, it's left. It's left hook. That's it. So I think his his uh, team and he prepared for this. What do you make of the dehydration clause that Javante asked for uh, for Ryan Garcia? It's a ten pound uh, dehydration clause. Sorry. So it's one more one more thing why Javante Davis can can beat him. <laughs> so you think all that's going to be beneficial for Javante, obviously, right? It's going to matter in the fight? I think so, yeah, because Ryan Garcia is very big for 135. What do you think about uh, Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis 
and it's just the, the 140, like 135, 140 is hot. There's yeah, a lot of names there. Great fighter right there, you know, but I think, uh, you know, Ryan Garcia is a great fighter and everything, but I think, you know, uh, Tank Davis has the power, you know, and it's kind of, you know, Ryan Garcia kind of takes open for the big shots. He got dropped. So I think if you're about to catch him with one of those hooks, you gonna knock him out. Who's favoring that bike? I don't know. Um, before, I would, it, it depends on where, what weight that the fight happens. At. Obviously, we know that Ryan is at 140 now. Um, I don't know. Right now, I'm favoring uh, Ryan Garcia, but Tank obviously has that one punch knockout power. What but Ryan does too. Ryan's much bigger, Ryan's faster. But Tank got way more experience than him, so uh, I think that's a I think that's a good ass fight. I, don't, I, I can't really say. Ryan Garcia is a great fighter. He I can't name a Ryan Garcia fight I haven't been entertained. By. He's a, one of the most entertaining fighters in the damn Jason sport. Velez. Well, he dude, he got fucking he, he got fucking <laughs> hit like fuck, dude. That shit's entertaining to watch too. <laughs> But name, dude, whether whether he looked good or he looked bad, it's still entertaining, right? He won almost every round. That's all that matters. But, but I, I'm just, you know, I was just trolling. I, 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 he, every fight Ryan Garcia has been in has been entertaining. But I don't know. It's just the way he throws punches looks weird as shit. What do you mean? There, he just and then bro, he throws these fucking hooks at like fucking like like fucking 200 miles an hour and shit. Very Some people fun. say he leaves his uh, his chin up when he throws that hook. Fucking hit him in the damn chin, shit. Yeah, right. I don't really see anybody else trying to do it. Well, to to, to land on that chin, you gotta risk walking into that hook, right? Yeah, walking into that hook. <laughs> right, right. What's the chance you think Tank will walk into that hook if they fight? Mm -hmm. I think I think Ryan Garcia punches harder than Tank. You think so? Yeah. I mean, you've been in there with both, but with Tank, you were in there with eight ounce gloves. With Ryan, it was yeah, yeah. sparring gloves. Ryan got hit punch hard, even with the sparring gloves. Yeah, significantly. Yeah, Tank caught me with with, with a with, with a lucky shot. My body was dehydrated and depleted. I couldn't make 35 anymore. Everybody fucking knew that. I asked for the fight at 140 a year prior to the damn fight. Everybody knows that. I said I took the opportunity to become great and like I said shit happened I risked becoming great something that fucking other pussies wouldn't do what what is the best advice you could give Ryan Jason Tank though, that you could share with us I'm sure the, the best advice you would tell him personally but that you could you know share with the boxing people what's the best advice you could give him to be I've told? already told him huh I already told him I already told him I've already told him do you favor him to win the fight? I like I like Ryan a lot. Like him personally, but do you do you think he, you favor him to win the fight? Like I said, at the end it doesn't matter who I favor or who I don't favor to win the damn fight. It's gonna happen the way it's gonna happen. But then uh, let me just ask you this: they, they both got speed and power, right? So, Ryan's uh, faster. Okay. By a lot. But his tank more skilled, more savvy, better with feints, and, and you know, the, the sweet science stuff like that. The, the Yeah, counter punching and all that kind of. Man, like I said, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm telling you straight up, Ryan's a way more difficult fighter. If people, people look at Ryan, he's a pretty boy and all that stuff, they don't realize he's very difficult. Like I say, he throws his fucking hooks at it. They come out way faster than you think, man. What about the right hand? Has he got a good right hand too, or is it just the left hook? No, just left hook. Okay. So, yeah, I can't really, can't really say, you know? With, the, with Ryan and Tank, who do you have winning that fight? Tank. Tank? Yeah, I think Tank is on a different level. And you feel like, I was talking to Coach Rich, right? And Rich was saying, well, Tank, you can't just go in, you can't just go in there or think you're gonna catch him with a left hook. You gotta faint, you gotta set traps, you gotta do a lot of stuff. You feel where Ryan doesn't have that IQ to do that, to pull that off? Nah, Ryan don't have the IQ, the defense. Um, Tank, one thing that he's right about, he said that um, his power translate to uh, To welterweight, middleweight, yeah. Yeah, so um, I, I may agree with him. As far as like, when I see him like in the ring with these dudes that he's fighting, um, 
look like his power is very strong. So um, you can't give up punches. Like you can't. Uh, you you can't gotta make him earn everything. Yeah. And with Ryan, it don't look like he's the type of fighter that, as far as what I've seen, you don't look like the fighter that's gonna make him earn anything. It's all gonna be given to him, and once he get that shot, it's over. But in the other aspect, um, Ryan could shock the world because. Tank, Tank gets hit a little yeah, bit here he and there. Too, Hector man. was touching Ryan, him, but Hector don't have that power yeah, like Ryan. Ryan punch hard too, so at the end of the day, there's gonna be a lot of fireworks. And I think I just think Tank IQ a little bit more uh, better than Ryan.